Scenes from the Exchange Food Court, a team from the Army Software Factory visited Fort Meade to get feedback on the new My Army Post app. More on that story in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, the Army is making changes in food service. A Fort Meade unit earns an Army level award and some news from the VA. These stories and more, but as I mentioned a moment ago, a team from the Army Software Factory in Austin, Texas, visited the post recently to solicit feedback on the new My Army Post app, which is still in the testing phase. So we're here at uh, Fort Meade uh, piloting the My Army Post application. Uh, so it's an application developed by soldiers at the Army Software Factory to help uh, soldiers and family members uh, find different resources that are available uh, on installations and really help with the uh, in-processing of a new installation. Fort Meade is one of several test sites for the My Army app. Really, we started at AUSA back in October, um, and uh, within you know 17 days, basically, we did a lot of research, uh, mainly focused at Fort Cavazos, um, but trying to figure out what would actually be useful for soldiers and family members. Um, by actually talking to soldiers and family members, we were able to get their feedback um, and figure out, uh, build an app that you know, actually meets their needs. What do they care about? Um, looking at some of the, you know, the current app out there right now is uh, Digital Garrison. Um, that, the, the main use we found from soldiers was they were using it to find the gate hours. Um, but that took, you know, you had to log in, it took seven clicks to get there. Um, and so it was really kind of cumbersome. Um, we found soldiers wanted to be able to tailor that experience where they only get the information that they care about. Major Schiff admitted that tailoring the app to meet Fort Meade's needs is a challenge. How do we make it so that um, soldiers and families can tailor what information that they're getting so they're not getting you know, pushed with information they don't care about, um, but they can still you know, subscribe to the information that they do care about. Uh, and that gives really the, the community and the garrison command team the ability to, to effectively message information, uh, especially something uh, like uh, Fort Meade where it's not just soldiers here and it's also a bunch of different uh, commands. It's hard for them to you know, message information about uh, base closures, things like that. If you miss the focus groups, you can still download the app and send them feedback through the app. In other news, the 323rd Military Intelligence Battalion, a unit of the Army Reserve's Military Intelligence Readiness Command and based at Fort Meade, recently received the Department of the Army Level Award for Maintenance Excellence. The Maintenance Excellence Program is held each year to recognize those Army units that have demonstrated excellence in maintenance operations. In other Army level news, the Army has launched a renewed effort to modernize a food system geared towards meeting service members' dining needs and preferences. This report from the Army Materiel Command. The U.S. Army is taking a fresh approach to food service, with a primary goal ensuring soldiers have access to affordable, healthy, and personalized dining options. The Army's leadership is championing a comprehensive modernization of food service, emphasizing healthier choices and improved readiness for the troops. Leading the charge is the Army Food Program Board of Directors, a group of high-ranking officers dedicated to reshaping food service. As part of the strategy, teams are being dispatched to conduct installation assessments, starting at Fort Cavazos, Texas, with the goal of understanding food service across all bases. The Army envisions an installation-wide dining experience for soldiers, offering a range of choices and easy access. They're actively seeking soldier input on what food options they prefer, exploring collaborations with on-post service partners to allow soldiers to use meal cards for a broader range of purchases is also on the agenda. This initiative goes beyond food. It's about enhancing soldiers' quality of life and their readiness for duty. The modernization of the Army food program is seen as essential for recruitment and retention. Elsewhere, the Fort Meade Community Council has existed in one form or another for more than 10 years. Despite that, a lot of people may have never heard of it. In its current form, the council meets quarterly. It's an opportunity for the garrison to exchange information with organizations on post and off. It's formed by the community members and the Fort Meade uh, garrison community uh, to share the information of up upcoming events, anything that uh, uh, the issues that we can address to the soldiers, families, and community members so we can address those issues and uh, provide an information sharing for forum for the members. If you'd like to get involved, just get on our um, website and, uh, and provide your information and uh, we can send you an invitation through the email or personal email. We'll invite you to the, uh, to the community council meetings, uh, which, we, which is held uh, once quarterly. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.